Yasser Arafat International Airport, formerly Gaza Airport, is located in the Gaza Strip, which is close to the Egyptian border. The airport, which was in service for a short period of time, was operated by the state of Palestine and served as a domestic airport for Palestinian airlines. At one point, it could handle 700,000 passengers per year and operated 24 hours a day. It gave the people of Gaza better access to the world outside their narrow and densely populated borders. Now, the airport was built from funding from Japan, Saudi Arabia and Germany and was designed by Moroccan architects. The total cost of building the airport was around $86 million. Now, after a year it was completed, it opened on 24th of November 1998. Attendees at the inauguration ceremony included the President of Palestine and the US President Bill Clinton. The long-awaited airport didn't last long though. It ceased operations during the second uprising on the 8th October 2000. The radar station and the control tower were both destroyed by the Israeli Air Force. The airport closed in 2001 after sustaining heavy damages by the Israeli army. Now two years later, Israeli bulldozers destroyed the runway, which meant there was no other access for the people of Gaza to leave the country. Today, the residents of the Gaza Strip have to travel through checkpoints on border crossings until they reach airports in Israel, Jordan and Egypt, and that's only if they're granted passage. The state of Palestine has an airline, but not an airport. Palestinian Airlines was founded in 1995 and started operating in 1997, with a series of flights from Al Arish International Airport in Egypt to destinations such as Jordan, Saudi Arabia and the UAE. In 1998, the airline started operating in Gaza, until it was forced to be moved back again to Egypt after the only Palestinian airport was attacked by the State of Israel. Now, Palestinian Airlines is completely owned by the Palestinian Authority, but not recognized by the Egyptian Ministry of Civil Aviation. It ceased operations in 2005, but resumed services in May 2012, and with a fleet of only two aircraft. Its current base is in El Arish International Airport. Now the question is, will the state of Palestine ever have an airport again?